So hydrogen bonding between the water molecules accounts for unique properties of water, and we'll look at each physical state. So we already mentioned earlier that water is uh, a solid is less dense than its liquid, which is the opposite of all other compounds. For most compounds, the solid is more dense than the liquid, but water, uh, when it's ice, and you've seen this, that ice floats in, uh, in its own liquid. So here's ice in liquid water. Well, for all other compounds, the solid is more dense than the liquid, and the solid, when placed in a liquid, will sink to the bottom of its own liquid. This is all other compounds do this, okay? But water is unique. Um, though we're used to seeing this, this is actually quite unusual that the solid will float in its own liquid. So ice is the solid. It's less dense than the liquid, the water. And things that are less dense float um, when they're placed in things that are more dense. So the solid that is less dense floats in the liquid that is more dense. So this is because the water molecules, this is the molecular view, the water molecules are spaced farther apart. And this is due to the hydrogen bonding. That's all those red dashed lines. Those hydrogen bonds have to be very specifically uh, spaced at an angle for these molecules uh, when they solidify. These spaces you can see in here that are, uh, it's a six-sided hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is, uh, this space in here doesn't con contain air, it doesn't contain oxygen, it's not containing bubbles. What it is, is at the molecular level, it's just space between the molecules. What happens is the molecules slow down and the hydrogen bonds form at these exact angles with space, which then spaces the liquid molecules further apart than they would than they would have been. Because of this ability of the solid to float on, in its own liquid, we don't just have ice floating in a glass of water, but what we have are continents of ice that allow for entire ecosystems. And uh, this is unique on, on our planet. Water as a liquid. Well, we already talked about the fact that water is a liquid over a very wide temperature range. And this is because the water molecules are attracted very strongly together through those hydrogen bonds. So once water is a liquid, now the molecules are actually closer together because the hydrogen bonds are not forced into a single position as they were in the solid. And so those um, water molecules are closer together, they're still attracted together, and those are really hard to break apart and liberate the water molecules to become gas. So this all adds up to this water having what's called a high specific heat capacity, which means it takes a lot of heat, it takes a lot of energy to increase the temperature of water. And this is shown in this video. Because water can absorb a lot of heat energy before actually getting hot, bodies of water like the ocean or a lake or even a swimming pool can act as a heat reservoir. That's a heat sink which moderates the, moderates the local climate. It's why we have a day that's 80 degrees in Santa Monica compared to 100 degrees in Culver City. Um, it's because of the water, the ocean water in the Santa Monica Bay absorbing the heat from the air. And so there is also an onshore breeze, but it's really mostly the fact that the water in the ocean in Santa Monica absorbs the heat that uh, cools off just the beach area. And so water is also um, used in human bodies to regulate heat. Uh, 
instead of cooling, it's a heating. It holds on to the heat in your body, and that's what biochemical reactions in our bodies need a 98.6. They actually need it relatively hot to work at the maximum, uh, at that maximal speed. So water as a gas requires a lot of energy to boil liquid water into steam. Um, this is because of breaking the hydrogen bonds. So that's the high heat capacity and a high boiling point as well. Not only a lot of heat needs to be required, but a high temperature. So it's breaking the hydrogen bonds. Those are the intermolecular forces between the water molecules. And it's important to note, it's not breaking the water molecules. And so it's not a chemical reaction. It's simply a physical state change. It's a physical change from liquid to gas. Now use water. Uh, very most importantly in generating electricity. This is important in that we boil the water in order to turn it into steam to move the turbines, but also that water is used to cool off in the back half of the uh, generating electricity.